What is up guys, it's Cal, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get to the trophy Treasures of Drusfar. So to get this trophy you have to discover the hidden treasures of Drusfar, which is uh, these 10 named chests. Now around every portion of BFA, there are small chests that give some Azerite power, they might give some more resources. The, those chests do not pertain to this achievement at all. These are named chests that I'm going to show you how to get in this video. And these named chests can give some good rewards like, well, Azerite, probably most importantly. They can give some just trash that you can sell, but there's also four pieces to a companion pet. The companion pet's called a Wicker Pup that are in these four chests. So it seems like every zone may have something like that. Like, uh, for example, Tiroskart Sound had a toy. Uh, that was a long process to get a toy in one of the chests. But anyways, without further ado, let's uh, get started. So we're actually going to be starting here at Fletcher's Hollow. And we're going to go to this inscrolled uh, chest down here. So I will also be giving you the coordinates for all these things. Though I will show you, as you see, they're all marked on my map. I will show you where they are, just in case you don't have coordinate add-on. Because a lot of people don't flow that way. So you're going to come up this way and there's like a mine there that you go down for a quest. You don't. You also don't have to worry about killing any of those guys. So I'm just going to ignore them. And then once you come to this uh, little fork in the road, you're actually going to head up this way. This this is a path up here. You're just going to keep keep going up this way. And this chest is uh, fairly well hidden. Pretty much all these chests are. That's that's why they're required for an achievement. And just right over here is the chest. And all you have to do is click this uh, witch witch torch, toggle torch, and sorcelled chest. And as you saw. That, uh, this miniature stag skull is one of the pieces you need to make the wicker pup pet. And this is that coordinate 67.72, 73.68. Now we're going for chest number two, which is called the Runebound chest. So over there was where we got the last chest. It was, uh, over there, up in that area. So I just came across this body of water. And we're going to head up this path to, a uh, Gol... Cavor? It's, uh, something... Oh, yeah. Gol... Gol Caval. Uh, that's that's where this runebound chest is and as you're probably going to notice most of these chests have some Sort of intricate pattern or something that you have to do like for the last uh, chest you have to click a, a Torch this chest you have to click some Pattern and I think this chest actually it did on the beta it gave me a toy So this I hopefully that's still carried over and it was actually a pretty good toy or actually I don't know if it was a toy But anyways so what you have to do for this chest is that there's a pattern you have to click. So you're going to click the left one, the down one, the up one, then the right one. So left one, click that, bottom one, top one. And if you get this wrong, I think it just hurts you. It's it's not really a big deal. Um, and then that right one. And then this is a chest that gives you this thing. Yeah, it's, it's not a toy, but it's uh, like a reincarnate. Allows the user to resurrect on death with 20% of health and mana. Only use Bloom Kulturas or Zandalar one minute cooldown so it's definitely an interesting interesting thing that you should hold on to chest number three is at coordinates 55.60 51.81 it is the bespelled chest and it is where in the hunter's run so towards the center-ish up just far and there's a path off to the side up here that we're going to head up to this chest and this is another uh, witch's torch chest it's right here click this torch Okay, so, and this gave us a spooky incantation. Combine a bundle of wicks, so that, that's also for your wicker pup. Chest number four is located at 44.22, 27.70. It's north, north middle of Drusfar, and we're going to come to this snowy area. There's some quests up here where you have to kill these yetis. Uh, you have to collect some bones or something, or whatnot, I don't know, but... This chest is up here in this corner. I'm gonna kill some of these guys just to get them out of the way. And there we go. So it's located right here. And this one you have to click left, right, down, up. So let's go and click that. We have left, right, down, and then up, the top one. And then open that chest. And that gives you, is this is a toy. It is a toy. Heartsbane Grimoire places the user under the spell of a Heartsbane Coven. So that's what it looks like. It makes you dark, shadowy, cool. Chest number five is a web covered chest and there's nothing really special about this chest. We're going to come down to this place where there's a bunch of spiders. There's some quests here to uh, free some guys from 
egg sacs and kill some spiders and whatnot. It's located right here at uh, 33.71, 30.08. And we're just gonna click that chest. And it has uh, some of these battle scarred augment runes. So that's the augment runes of this expansion. It gives you 60 of your main stat. Now the sixth chest is not very far from the last one. It's just a little north of Corlane, and it is uh, an enchanted chest at 25.47, 24.16, and it's right beside this farming area. There's there's actually a rare here, Gorged Boar. That is a rare if you've not killed it yet. So we're gonna go past this field. There's also a, a quest over there somewhere. But anyway, it's gonna go past that farm, and over here. This one's actually in a small cave, so I'm walking over it right now. Cave is right under me. It's right here. It's uh, kind of difficult to see. But we're going to click this torch. And this is, uh, I believe, the third piece to the wicker pup. And there it is. Enchanted chest. Wolf pup spine. Now this next one, I actually just walked out of that cave. And it's right... Uh, beside it, it's at 25.75, 19.95. It's the merchant's chest. The thing about it is it's actually locked. Oh, uh, hello? I don't want any harm. Anyways, it's actually locked. You can't open it. The way to open it is you have to get a key from uh, these gorging ravens. As you see, they have a buff holding the merchant's... Uh, uh, okay, we're going to loot the key from them. And then open the merchant's chest... And it gave us some resources and also some polished pet charms, which was nice of it. Chest number eight is the Stolen Thornspeak Cache at 24.34, 48.29. And it's, a uh, we're just right above any port right here. So, went up this path. And this one's in the Crimson Forest. It's also in a cave. So, we're just going to head into the Crimson Forest here. There's also going to be some guys we have to kill that are around the chest. Just heading past these guys. And then this ch uh, the cave is right here. So it's also kind of hidden. And here's a few guys that you have to kill. So let's do that. Okay, they're dead. And then here is the chest. Stolen Thorn Speaker Cash. Gave us some money, some resources, and also some polished pet charms. Okay, chest number nine. We're almost done. We're right beside where we just were. So the cave was right there. I just came out of the cave and came over here. This is the uh, hex chest, 18.51, 51.33. This is the last chest we need for the wicker pup. So we're going to head up here towards the top of this mountain and it should be around here somewhere up here. I was, I mistook it for a small chest for a second, but it's on the other side. Okay. Come on. Whatever. There's a path right here, right here. So that's where it is. Crimson forest. And we're going to click one of these torches. And now we can open the hex chest and it gives us a bu bundle of wicked sticks, bundle of wicker sticks, sorry. And we're going to click that and we're crafting the wicker pup pet. It's a battle pet. And there it is, spooky bundle of sticks, teaches you to summon this companion. And there it is, wicker pup. It has some abilities. You can of course look it up if you'd like. And then the 10th and final chest we're in the southwest of Dressfar. It is a runebound chest, and we're past this uh, little tree trunk, if you want reference. So we're just gonna head over this way. And uh, I don't believe this one is in a cave or anything. It's kind of just out in the open, if you decide to come over here. And this is, uh, let's see, we have to do right, up, left, down for this one. So let's do that. Right, up left and then down and here is the chest for treasures of Drusfar. and that gave us a, another toy Drust ritual knife so it performs a ritual sacrifice offering the target soul to the Drust, usable only on recently deceased so this is a toy that you can only use on players but as you see i'm trying to use it on this uh npc it just kind of creates this ritual thing so, it's a toy. But anyways, guys, that's the entire video of all 10 treasures in Drustfar. The coordinates to them all will be in the description. If you have TomTom, Tom, which is the coordinate add-on I use, you can do this while you're questing, or you can do it after you finish the zone. Because you, you might run into some of them while questing, because some of them were just kind of out in the open. But anyways, guys, if this video was helpful at all to you, you can leave a like on it. You can sub to the channel for more videos like this. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video.